Mountains Ardennes. From in second place, Stormy Judge, but up on the outside, Carrick Morna Pine is still swinging away for Philip Enright. These now move on from Millen to one and Monty's Mission. Two out, Carrick Morna Pine took over. From the long-time leader, Elaise Ardennes, then Stormy Judge and Millen to one, but making their way down to the final flight, Carrick Morna Pine is now clearing away, and over the last, Carrick Morna Pine went through it, but has this one in safekeeping, travelled well throughout, and Carrick Morna Pine is going to win this in great style for Robert Tyner and Philip Enright from Stormy Stormy Judge, who kept on well for second. Millen to one is third. Lazar de Neige. From in second place, Stormy Judge, but up on the outside, Carrick Morna Pine is still swinging away for Philip Enright. These now move on from Millen to one and Monty's Mission. Two out, Carrick Morna Pine took over. From the long-time leader, Lazar de Neige, then Stormy Judge and Millen to one, but making their way down to the final flight. Carrick Morna Pine is now clearing away, and over the last, Carrick Morna Pine went through it but has this one in safekeeping, travelled well throughout, and Carrick Morna Pine is going to win this in great style for Robert Tyner and Philip Enright from Stormy Judge, who kept on well for second. Millen to one is third, then Monty's mission, and the long-time leader, Eleazar de Neige. Well, Shantu Sisu has three lengths in hand all of a sudden again from Impressive Duke. Marshall, the white cap, is picking up well for Mark Walsh and then Fox LaBelle as they approach the penultimate flight. Shantu Sisu, he's gone! Took off too early, crashes out, badly hampered Fox LaBelle and BA Beneficiary. Impressive Duke's been left in front, being pressed now in second by Marshall as they come down to the final flight. Impressive Duke made a terrible mistake and Marshall is trying to get on terms. Fox LaBelle is back in third. Impressive Duke now tackled and headed by Marshall, who's got to go on and score here. Marshall wins it from Impressive Duke. Fox LaBelle in third. Mile, Shantu Sisu has three lengths in hand all of a sudden again from Impressive Duke. Marshall, the white cap, is picking up well for Mark Walsh and then Fox LaBelle as they approach the penultimate flight. Shantu Sisu, he's gone! Took off too early, crashes out, badly hampered Fox LaBelle and BA Beneficiary. Impressive Duke's been left in front, being pressed now in second by Marshall as they come down to the final flight. Impressive Duke a terrible mistake and Marshall is trying to get on terms. Fox LaBelle is back in third. Impressive Duke now tackled and headed by Marshall who's got to go on and score here. Marshall wins it from Impressive Duke. Fox LaBelle in third and then BA Beneficiary looking back to two out. The horse Shantu Sisu is up. Ricky Doyle is just being attended to. This has been a brave effort from Mary Francis. Can she hold them at bay? She's on the approach to two out with still six to seven lengths in hand over the storyteller who's now gone in pursuit, followed by Total Recall, but Mary Francis is over and clear from the storyteller. Then Total Recall, Rathbinden struggling back and forth and then Class Conti, but on the run down to the final flight, it's Mary Francis, the leader. Another good jump. The storyteller is closing though. He's within about two lengths. It's Mary Francis tackled now by the storyteller who's going to get up. Cruel luck for Mary Francis. She's been headed close home as the storyteller goes on to win. Well, this has been a brave effort from Mary Francis. Can she hold them at bay? She's on the approach to two out with still six to seven lengths in hand over the storyteller who's now gone in pursuit. Followed by Total Recall, but Mary Francis is over and clear from the storyteller. Then Total Recall, Rathbinden struggling back and forth and then Class Conti, but on the run down to the final flight. It's Mary Francis, the leader. Another good jump. The storyteller is closing though. He's with in about two lengths, it's Mary Francis tackled now by the storyteller who's going to get up. Cruel luck for Mary Francis, she's been headed close home as the storyteller goes on to win. Mary Francis gave it a great go in second. Two on the outside, my lovely boy. Here comes Costalita with a good looking challenge from the rear of the field for Hugh Morgan as they make the way towards two out. Crack on Curry, pressed now by Costalita as they go over this one. Very little in it, a faller in behind them, my lovely boy. Costalita now given the office by Hugh Morgan and quickly goes on from Crack on Curry in second, then Millie and capture the action. Final flight, Costalita over safely and now four lengths clear from in second place, Crack on Curry and racing up towards the finish, Costalita.
is going to go on and win decisively here under Hugh Morgan. Costalita from Crack on Curry, who stuck to its guns well in second. Here, two on the outside, my lovely boy. Here comes Costalita with a good-looking challenge from the rear of the field for Hugh Morgan as they make the way towards two out. Crack on Curry, pressed now by Costalita as they go over this one. Very little in it. A faller in behind them, my lovely boy. Costalita now given the office by Hugh Morgan and quickly goes on from Crack on Curry in second. Then Millie and captured the action. Final flight, Costalita over safely and now four lengths clear from in second place, Crack on Curry and racing up towards the finish, Costalita is going to go on and win decisively here under Hugh Morgan. Costalita from Crack on Curry who stuck to its guns well in second. Then Millie captured the action clear of Classy K in fifth. It's Batsio and Ian McCarthy out in front from Furlise in second. Then Das My Haas, Tintan, Robin and Baby Bellini as they come on towards this second last fence. Batsio now putting a bit of daylight between himself and Furlise. Batsio is over from Furlise in second. Then Das My Haas and Tintan, Robin on the run to the final fence. It's Batsio out clear. Over the last, Batsio jumps it well from Fur Elise. Tintan Robin running on well on the outside of Das My Hoss. But Batsio will win this one with the minimum of fuss for Ted Walsh. Luke McMahon and Ian McCarthy. Second is Fur Elise. The finish it's Batsio and Ian McCarthy out in front from Fur Elise in second. Then Das My Hoss, Tintan Robin and Baby Bellini as they come on towards this second last fence. Batsio now putting a bit of daylight between himself and Fur Elise. Batsio is over from Fur Elise in second, then Das My Hoss and Tintan Robin on the run to the final fence. It's Batsio out clear. Over the last, Batsio jumps it well from Fur Elise. Tintan Robin running on well on the outside of Das My Hoss. But Batsio will win this one with the minimum of fuss for Ted Walsh. Luke McMahon and Ian McCarthy. Second is Fur Elise, then Tintan Robin, Das My Hoss, Baby Bellini, and Just Call Me. From Love and Wishes, Nikolai delivering a challenge now up on the outside for Rachel Blackmore. Touch of Oscar still has a chance as well as they continue on their journey towards two out. It's bits and pieces from up on the outside, Nikolai. Then Love and Wishes and Touch of Oscar as they come on to this second last fence. And now Nikolai up on the outside with bits and pieces. Very little in it there. Five lengths back to Touch of Oscar who's in third. Love and Wishes with no more to give. They're on the run to the final fence. Nikolai ridden into it, produced a good jump. Bits and pieces back in second. Second, then touch of Oscar and racing up to the finish. Rachel Blackmore has lost an iron, but it won't matter here because Nikolai is going to win for the Schuster family and Henry de Bromhead. From Love and Wishes, Nikolai delivering a challenge now up on the outside for Rachel Blackmore. Touch of Oscar still has a chance as well as they continue on their journey towards two out. It's bits and pieces from up on the outside, Nikolai. Then Love and Wishes and Touch of Oscar as they come on to this second last fence. And now Nikolai up on the outside with bits and pieces. Very little in it there. Five lengths back to Touch of Oscar who's in third. Love and Wishes with no more to give. They're on the run to the final fence. Nikolai ridden into it, produced a good jump. Bits and pieces back in second, then touch of Oscar, and racing up to the finish, Rachel Blackmore has lost an iron, but it won't matter here because Nikolai is going to win for the Schuster family and Henry de Bromhead. Touch of Oscar got up for second, then bits and pieces, rattles your poet, and bridge native. As they make their way towards two from the finish, looks as though he could even be pulled up. As they make their way to the second last then, Cavanagh's corner of the leader. Trump's ace, though, is raising an effort in the centre. This pair dominating now clear of Sleeve Mirror Lass, who's running on again. Here's the second last. Trump's ace got in tight, but landed about a length in front from Cavanagh's corner. Sleeve Mirror Lass is back in third. They're on the run to the final fence and Trump's ace is the leader over the last from Cavanagh's corner in second then Sleeve Miralas who's still staying on but Trump's ace it is who's out in front here from Cavanagh's corner Sleeve Miralas flashing home to dispute the second on the line but Trump's ace is your winner as they make their way towards two from the finish looks as though he could even be pulled up as they make their way to the second last then Cavanagh's corner the leader Trump's ace though is raising an effort in the centre this pair dominating now clear of Sleeve Miralas who's running on again here's the second last Trump's ace got in tight but landed about a length in front from Cavanagh's corner Sleeve winner Lass is back in third they're on the run to the final fence and Trump's ace is the leader over the last from Cavanagh's corner in second then Sleeve Mira Lass who's still staying on but Trump's ace it is who's out in front here from Cavanagh's corner Sleeve Mira Lass flashing home to dispute the second on the line but Trump's ace is your winner Cavanagh's corner and Sleeve Mira Lass involved for the second spot 
and they were somewhere clear of Sanibel Island, and then disco music and don't do odds on. Fourth as they make the way towards two out, and now Tom Hamilton says go and sail into Byzantium, who set sail for home. Takes two lengths out of Arahican, then Braveside is still battling away as they go over two out, and Arahican has regained the lead from sailing to Byzantium, who's now starting to run on the spot. Braveside is in third as they come down to the final flight. Any one of three can win. Now sailing to Byzantium is starting to come back. Sailing to Byzantium and Arahican over the last together. Very little in it. Henry de Bromhead is going to train the winner, and it's going to be sailing to Byzantium by the Look at things, briefly looked in a spot of bother, but regains the momentum to win the last from Arahican and Breakside. They were some way clear fourth as they make the way towards two out. And now Tom Hamilton says go and sail into Byzantium, who set sail for home. Takes two lengths out of Arahican. Then Breakside is still battling away as they go over two out. And Arahican has regained the lead from sailing to Byzantium, who's now starting to run on the spot. Breakside is in third as they come down to the final flight. Any one of three can win. Now sailing to Byzantium is starting to come back. Sailing to Byzantium and Arahican over the last together. Very little in it. Henry de Bromhead is going to train the winner and it's going to be sailing to Byzantium by the look of things. Briefly looked in a spot of bother but regains the momentum to win the last from Arahican and Breakside. They were some way clear of Desert Maid and the disappointing St. Roy.